What's up, YouTube? KTV Movie Review here, and today, you guys, we are going to be reviewing Crawl. The this is the fourth movie review on the channel. So, you guys, what we're going to be doing in this video, which we did in the other movie reviews, is talk about the plot of the movie, talk about what happens in the movie, talk about if we agree, if I agree personally with the um Rotten Tomato score, and yeah, so. Let's get into it, but before we start this video, just drawing out that there is spoiler alert. This is a spoiler alert zone, so I'm going to give you guys three seconds to click off the video or continue watching if you just want to know about the movie, or see if I agree with you guys after you guys just watch the movie. Okay, three, two, one, there we go. Now we're going to get into the spoiler zone. So you guys, how the movie starts off is that we see the main character, Haley at a swimming tournament. She's swimming, and... Yeah, and then while she's getting dressed up, she gets a call from her sister, Beth, who lives in Colorado. She says, um, she says, um, uh, where, where have you been? I've been calling you. She's like, I was at practice. She was practicing during the hurricane as it was starting. So Beth says, can you go check on dad? Make sure he's okay. I've been calling him. He's not answering. So, um, Haley goes to his house. He, you can't find his dad anywhere, but except he left his dog, Sugar, there. So, they get out, and she takes Sugar, and then go to their old house that's already in escrow. So, they go into the house, and they try finding her dad, because her dad's pickup truck was in front of the house. She walks in, and Sugar ends up barking in a direction which leads to a crawl space. So Haley and Sugar go down into the crawl space to find her dad knocked out and he has a huge giant opening right there and you could see like he had his flesh. His flesh is like coming out of his side and on his leg his bone is sticking out and it's bleeding all on his thigh. So then she ends up dragging him in between these pipes but as she's doing that she t she hears like a hissing sound but Sugar's already upstairs, so, like, Sugar's not near them. She turns around, and there is a giant alligator behind them, hissing them and running at them. She drags her dad underneath these giant, um, bars of, um, uh, metal. And they stay there for a minute. She talks up to her dad about what happened. He tells her to go to free herself, but she says, no, I'm not leaving without you. And then she ends up helping her dad out with his injuries. So then... <clears throat> So then, by this time, she ends up seeing her phone. And she has service, and she thinks that she can get the cops to come help them in time. Now, one thing I liked about this movie is that every time, on every time she actually finds a way to get out and free themselves, it always gets messed up by the alligators. So, we're going to talk about that more. She sees her phone, and as she goes to grab her phone, she sees the alligator in the... She sees an the alligator that tried to attack them standing over there. But then she hears like a creaking sound behind her. She turns around and there's another alligator. It grab it bites her on the foot and drags her and her and, and, um that alligator and the other alligator start tag teaming on Haley. But Haley ends up fighting them off but doesn't kill them and but ends up losing her phone is because the alligator steps on the phone and cracks the screen and breaks the phone. She runs into this little hiding space in the crawl space and she's yelling to her dad that she's okay but he ends up telling her there is another way out by this time the water level because the crawl space is flooding is probably about mm, probably about one feet high maybe one or two feet high he says before it's too late run and there is a board on the top on the top of the roof of the crawl space that is loose push it up and you can get out and then we could both get out to safety. So she ends up getting over there. And as she's doing that, she's pushing it up. But there is a piano. There is a piano on top of it that gets stuck onto the leverage of the wall. And she can't push it up. Sugar's right there trying to get them out. But she's pushing it. She can't do it. So she ends up, she's like, you know what? No, I'm not doing it this way. So she tells her dad that she is going to go through the drain, the storm pipe. He tells her, no, don't go through the storm pipe. Something's going to happen. Well, while this is going on, two people that, two rescuers end up seeing them and ends up going to the house. 
because they heard some screaming. One of them stays out in their boat, in the rescue boat. One stays out in the rescue boat, and the other one goes inside. As they go inside, as they go inside, it's like an inflatable boat, but it has a motor on it, so that will be important here in a minute. So he ends up finding them, like he ends up going toward or down the stairs to enter into the crawl space, and he's like, hey, he screams to his partner, hey, I found them, and the gator jumps up and grabs him and pulls him down to the water and kills him. While that happens, the other the other um, uh, rescuer is outside in the boat, and as he's getting ready to walk into the house after he heard him scream, he turns around and the, there's a playground that's probably, it, the water's about like seven feet, and probably, no, probably like five feet, it's probably like five feet underwater now, and there is this swing set that is halfway underwater, and you could see the swing being tugged, so he walks over there to see what's going on, and then you see the gator's tail break the chains, and the gator goes after him and kills him. So, they, um, Haley and her dad had to watch all of that go down, and, yeah, so then she ends up going through the, she ends up trying to go through the drain pipe, but a mama gator comes out, because before the gator comes out, she sees a whole bunch of gator eggs on the ground, and you get a close-up underneath the water of a baby alligator that has just been hatched, so the mama gator comes out, and while, and then she sees the dead body of one of the rescuers who had a gun on him. She grabs the gun from the holder, and the gator pops up and, like, latches her arm onto Haley. So Haley keeps on shooting the gun into the mouth because the, um, the arm that the gator had on, like, had a clamp on, she had the gun. She shot it five times and actually killed the gator. So she went through the storm pipe, and she saw many other gators and the water. So... She swam, got onto the surface, went inside. She broke through the windows because all the doors were locked. She broke through the window, went inside, and got her dad out. Got her dad out. So their next plan was to go up to the basement. So they went up to the basement. They're climbing. And then she thinks that she, then she hears a helicopter outside. She goes towards the window. This is probably the dumbest thing that anyone has done in the movie she goes towards the window instead of continues to go up to the ceiling like to the roof of the house and wave at them instead she goes to the window and the gator busts through the window <coughs> breaks the window and all of the water just goes into the house so then she tells her dad and sugar to go up the stairs <laughs> i'm laughing so hard because i don't know that was a stupid decision tells them to go up the stairs and she's downstairs while the house is getting flooded. She ends up seeing a walkie-talkie that is in the water. She goes to grab it, but she ends up breaking a table. And she just messed up. She finally makes her way up to the ceiling. And when she gets to the ceiling, they see a, they see a helicopter. They wave at the helicopter. And they... And the movie ends there where the helicopter comes and picks them up and they get rescued to safety. So there was also rumors about a post credit scene. Me and my mom waited until the credits were over. There was no post credit scene. And I was like, damn it, I really wanted the post credit scene for this movie. So now, do I agree with the to uh, Rotten Tomatoes score? Rotten Tomatoes gave this movie at 83%. Honestly, I... I kind of kind of disagree with this with the score. I kind of give this score probably a 70% only because um there was a lot of jump scares. The movie was entertaining. There was jump scares. Um there was jump scares, but the reason why I give it a 70% like 70% means 7 out of 10. The reason why I give it that percentage is because honestly it it was entertaining, but there were some parts that the that the movie in the movie that kind of made it stupid, like her going to the window instead of up the stairs, like and how every time they had a good idea to get out, it just got ruined by the gators. So that's kind of and also the movie was kind of dull, but it was really good. Like at the, it's at the same time it was good and dull. So I give it a seventy percent. Rotten Tomatoes give it an eighty three. So that's it for today's video, you guys, and stay tuned for another video.